Welcome back everyone to the Atlanta Hawks, Miley here on NBA 2K18. So the regular season is over after we send this Nets game and the playoffs will be underway. We have clinched the three seed after missing the playoffs for the first three seasons of the series. So let's just simulate that and it is an a, a win. So Steph Curry wins MVP again. He put up 35 points a game last year, so not quite as good as last year, but he still played well. Trey Young, Rookie of the Year. I had to put him in the 2020 draft class because he wasn't in the 2018 one. He put up like 21 and 6. He killed it for the Grizzlies. Jabari Parker, Sixth Man of the Year, putting up 15 and a half points and five and a half rebounds. Rudy Gobert, Defensive Player of the Year, with a total of four assists. Anthony Davis almost got it, but unfortunately he did it. Most improved goes to Dennis Smith. We did trade him. I'm not too surprised that he won most improved. I figured with us trading him, he would win most improved because he would become the star of the Clippers. Hopefully the Clippers did not make the playoffs. I'm not sure if they did. And Brett Brown wins coach of the year. The one seeded 59 and 23 76ers. Any Hawks on the all NBA teams. Anthony Davis makes the all NBA third team with his former New Orleans Pelicans teammate DeMarcus Cousins. Davis makes the all-defensive first team, and on the rookie teams, uh, James Wiseman and Brian Antoine make the second teams. So the Clippers did not make the playoffs, that's good, they were probably the ninth seed. And in the first round, we have my favorite team, the Detroit Pistons. Game 1 will be next episode, so we're going to take a look at our stats. Anthony Davis led us in points with 19.5 bowl bowl. Got 16, Sexton had about 14, Antoine had around 13, Wiseman 12.5, Langford 12.2. I want to see more points from Romeo. Uh, rebounds went to Anthony Davis with 10.9, Bol Bol right behind with 10.7, Wiseman about 8, Langford about 5, AJ Hammonds, he probably played in like 5 games. Oh, 61. He didn't play for us, so I guess I was with Minnesota. So, his rebounding numbers don't really count. Sexton, a little over three. Same with Nazir Little. Uh, assists, seven for Sexton, six for Antoine, five and a half for Schroeder, three for Langford. Steals, about two for Langford, about two for Sexton. Blocks, about two for Davis. I also want to look at the Detroit Pistons. Stats, Andre Drummond led them in points with about 18. Michael Porter Jr. with about 16. Chris Middleton. Returned to Detroit after being drafted there. He had, he got about 14. Luke Kennard, 13. Patrick Beverly, 10. Rebounds. Drummond, a little over 10. That's all. That's, his rebounding numbers are going down. That's interesting. Michael Porter of about 7. Deontay Davis of about 7. Al Farouk Alino of about 5. Ellenson of about 4. Assists, 5. A little over 5 for Patrick Beverly. 4.5 for Middleton. 4 for Kennard. 3.5 for Corey Joseph. Steals, about two for Porter, one and a half for Beverly. I think Beverly would have a little more. It's a little surprising. Blocks, uh, 1.4 for Deontay Davis, 1.2 for Drummond. So we'll look at the Pistons overall ratings. And from those stats, they look like a very different team. As Drummond, Luke Kennard, and Henry Ellenson are the only players left from the past four years. They added Michael Porter Jr., who they got second overall. As well as Chris Middleton, Patrick Beverly, Deontay Davis, Mike Muscala, Corey Joseph, Balsa Kovrivka, that's a pretty fun name to say, Tyler Ennis, Al Farouk Aminu, Brian Bowen, and Malcolm Davenport. And we are also very different. The only player that the Hawks have kept is Dennis Schroeder. Your new players, of course. You guys probably know this team pretty well from watching all the episodes, but if you don't, Anthony Davis, Romeo Langford, Colin Sexton, Bull Bull, we already have Schroeder, uh, James Wiseman, Brian Antoine, Nazir Little, AJ Hammond, Devontae Graham, Michael Bridges, Ayo DeSumo, Pascal Siakam, Lewis King, and Gerardo Esparza. I, I don't know how to say that name. We're going to take a quick look at the draft, the mock drafts, and then we will look at uh, league leaders. So, mock drafts is this is the 2021 draft class with. Uh, LeBron James Jr., Zaire Wade, Isaiah Todd, etc., etc. So, the Clippers pick is projected to be at 11. So, the Hawks have the Clippers pick and their own pick, which is projected at 
27. So, Draft Express has the Hawks getting Jaden Springer, a shooting guard from North Carolina, and Johnny Juzang, a small forward from UCLA. 2K has the Hawks getting Jalen Springer as well, and Johnny Juzang as well. NBA.com has the Hawks getting BJ Boston, a shooting guard from Kentucky, and Chester Cunningham, a point guard from Kentucky. So now we'll take a little quick look at the league of leaders. Steph Curry led by a lot with 31 points, followed by Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, and LeBron James. RJ Barrett put up 24.4 points a game. He's been very good for the Bulls. Rebounds went to Carl Anthony Towns, followed by Nikola Jokic, DeAndre Jordan, Mohamed Bamba, and Rudy Gobert. Assist, 12.2 for Chris Paul. 11.4 for Lonzo, who I believe made the three-point contest last year. 9.7 for Ricky Rubio, who just dropped a triple-double in the playoffs. Uh, 9.5 for Lamar Peters, and a little over 9 for Russell Westbrook steals. 2.5 for Chris Paul, 2.3 for Lonzo, 2.3 for Steph Curry, 2.1 for John Wall, and 2 for Kawhi. Blocks, 2.4 for DeAndre Ayton. 2.2 for Gobert, 2.1 for Miles Turner, 2 for Gasol, and 1.9 for DeAndre Jordan. And we'll look at the rookies. Trey Young led in points of about 21. Charles Basie, a little over 17. Cole Anthony, 17. Vernon Carey is 16. And Cassius Stanley, 16. Uh, assists, or no, rebounds, 8.2 for Charles Basie, 7.8 for Carey, and James Wiseman. 7.6 for Chol Marial and 5.8 for Sekou Domboya. Assists, a little over 6 for Trey Young, about 6 for Brian Antoine, 5 for Trey Jones, four and a, a little over 4.5 for Cole Anthony, and about 4 for Trendon Watford. Steals, uh, Savai Mikaliuk and Cole Anthony led with 1.5, followed by Brian Antoine, Trey Jones, and Trey Young. Blocks was led by Chol Marial and Charles Basie, followed by Wiseman, Vernon Carey, and Reggie Perry. So let's compare the Hawks and the Pistons. Mid-range scoring and perimeter defense. The Hawks are excellent and the Pistons are average. Three-point scoring and three-point perimeter defense. Same thing. Pistons are average. Hawks are excellent. Rebounding. The Hawks are good. The Pistons are excellent. Uh, attacking the basket or post defense. Both teams are excellent. Low post offense and post defense. Both teams are excellent. And then offense of IQ and blocks is great for the Hawks. Excellent for the Pistons. And the Hawks, of course, will be favored. They are the higher seed. There's a comparison of the starting lineups in, like, overall ratings. Uh, field goals. Little quick chart right there. And overview, the Hawks have zero weaknesses. That's that's pretty crazy. 